Let's bring in the host of Primetime with Alex Stein on Blaze TV. Alex, uh, I'm interested on your thoughts on the Democrats uh, fundraiser with Obama in LA featuring Hollywood A-listers and Obama helping the president off stage. It's clear that the uh, celebrities don't care about any sort of cognitive decline. The celebrity class is right behind President Biden. Well, Rita, I believe George Clooney raised $30 million for Joe Biden, and it's sad because that money will not make him any smarter or any sharper. Basically, we're living in the weekend <laughs> of Bernie's at this point. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not even trying to say that it's a joke, but when Barack Obama has to guide him off, off set. And then what's even worse is you have like these TikTok influencers like Harry Season who's literally defending this mm. and saying that that Joe Biden is 100 uh, percent cognitive and that he's functioning like a normal adult. I mean, he's 80 years old. The guy deserves to be on a golf course, not running for president of the United States. Well, I'm not sure if he's even uh, fit to be on a golf course. I'd, I'd like to see him on a couch somewhere <laughs> with a warm ball of soup and, and just enjoying because there are 80 year olds who are robust and are a lot more with it both physically and mentally than President Biden appears to be. His uh, performance at the G7 left the leaders of several countries, Alex, uh, alarmed, bemused. Uh, the Daily Mail reports uh, allies noticed he was losing focus and tired. He missed several uh, dinners. He wandered off and snapped at the press at one point. And then there was his... Uh, bizarre interaction with the Pope and look here for the reactions of Argentinian leader Javier Millet uh, and uh, also Italy's Giorgia Maloney. Millet does a double take whilst he's watching this performance. Uh, but like you said, you've got these TikTok influencers, you've got members of the media desperate to paint the coverage of the president's increasingly unusual behaviour as some sort of a fabrication rather than the sad decline of a man we've, we've seen over decades. So we've seen the decline. It's not like we've only had him in our lives for the last four years. Well, you know, Joe Biden calls himself a Catholic, but he's the pro-choice Catholic that believes in abortion, which I think that totally goes against Catholicism 100 percent. I mean, why wouldn't you want to protect a young child in the womb? So, I mean, Joe Biden is a hypocrite. Joe Biden is basically senile at this point. And like you said, there are 80 year olds that are still quick witted and still got it going on. But Joe Biden is not that guy. I believe that he's probably hopped up on some sort of amphetamine or he's on some sort of medication that actually, you know, keeps his energy up. But obviously he's artificially on performance enhancing drugs. And I know that might sound crazy, but there's no way that this guy would have the fortitude to travel to all these places and do all this stuff if they weren't juicing him up with, I don't know what that is, but it's pretty obvious that he's not on just coffee in my opinion. <laughs>